Hey everybody, Ricky of Handicapping, thoroughbred racing from my hometown track, Penn National Racecourse, Granville, Pennsylvania, on Friday evening, February the 17th, and this is my dayatthetrack.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race three this evening, folks, 6.49 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a mile 70 yard test on the dirt track. Maiden fillies and mare is four years old and up, racing for a claiming prize of some $11,000. Contenders number two, Maggie Adair, number four, Blowing a Hooli, number six, Suck on Mickey, and number one, Living Aloha. Number two, Maggie Adair takes a class drop of three track master units this evening, comes off a power run show, finished facing better company in her last start, which was just one of a quartet of power runs that she's produced in her last five starts. Number four, Blowing a Hooli, the overall speed leader in this field. Her recent past performance sheet show a pair of power runs in her last three, including a show finish in her second race back. Race three summary, number two, Maggie Adair tops my contenders list tonight, which also includes number four, Blowing a Hooli, number six, Suck on Mickey, and number one, Living Aloha, two, four, six, one, in the third tonight from... Penn National. A couple of bonus long shots for you to ponder this evening. Let's stay right here at Penn Nat. Race 8, the 8 to 1 shot. Number 3, Morgan Stern qualifies as a Trackmaster plus Power Pony. Takes a class drop of some 13 units. The overall speed leader in this maiden field racing at her about tonight's distance of a mile and 70 yards on the dirt. Charlestown, race three, number six, naturalist, a 10 to 1 bomb, the overall speed leader in this claiming field, sprinting at six and a half furlongs on the dirt, has hit the board in power run fashion in two of his last four, including a power run win in his second race back. So from Penn National on a Friday night, Rick Dieter for dayatthetrack.com, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over.